YouTube people. Another damn video. What the hell do you know? So I'm sitting out here in the truck and arrow. Come on. Idle bitch. Yeah, I gotta take that carburetor apart. I don't want to take that carburetor apart. So I'm sitting out here in the truck and arrow, running the heater, charging a few things up off the battery while the truck's running. Looking down at Blondie's trailer, and there's lights on down there, but they're being sneaky. They got uh, a blanket or something over the window on the door, so I don't know that the lights are on in there. But I'm on the high ground, so I can see the vents lit up. Duh. Stupid people. Stupid people being fucking stupid. So, let's see what's going on. Uh, been texting back and forth with my brother. He's telling me I'm in a bad situation and I need to run. And I'm telling him I ain't got no place left to run to. This is it. Done, done it all. Run to this place, run to that place, ain't got no place left to run. So, oh, sunglasses are on because it's fucking light, fucking bright. I'm out in the goddamn darkness. I got the cab of my truck lit up like a fucking neon sign with this light on, but fuck them. They want to fuck with me, bring it on. So, I've talked to him, he says, uh, I need to. I need to be nice until it's time to quit being nice. And then I need to be the rotten bastard that he knows I can be. And I'm telling him, yeah, but that usually ends up with me sitting in jail. <laughs> you know. has run my name to the, uh, his cop buddies and he knows I'm not to be provoked I'm to be left alone they basically told him uh, he's to be left alone don't provoke him don't do anything to provoke him nicest guy you ever want to meet until provoked and then he is incredibly dangerous They also said the same thing about my two brothers, too. And, Stevie, I did go looking for the, the, your pickaxe handle. Sorry to say, I left it out uh, where it would decompose and deteriorate, and uh, it's worm food covered with moss. So you can't pump Bubba with that anymore. Which is too bad because Bubba probably needs a good bumping with a stick. Uh, there's some family members that have mixed feelings about that. And, oh well. If a Steve's pushed to the point where it's all I can stand, I can't stand no more, and he's got a pickaxe handle. The person that he has assaulted, it better be thankful he didn't kill them. Because he was at that sea in red, it's all I can stand, I can't stand no more. And been there, done that. Then it seems my younger brother is dangerous. I'm going to be cheery for that cigarette, though. I hate that when that happens. He's sitting here smoking a cigarette, and all of a sudden I look at it and go, I'm going to be cheery for that motherfucker, though. That better not be down between my legs. I kind of like my nuts, and I don't want to set them on fire. Been attached to him for a long time. So, evidently, I got a nephew that's registered as a lethal weapon. Damn. 
so I still get six cars of cops as backup when somebody calls the cops on me. After I hit 50, they dropped it from the 12 cars down to six. And I've been real good for the past almost 20 years. years I've been real good, real good. Haven't shot anybody since at least I haven't shot at anybody since at least 94. Haven't stabbed anybody since 97. So, you know, I mellowed out. Haven't got an assault charge since I mean a real assault charge, fourth degree assault, that's nothing. Hell, I can look at you wrong and get fourth degree assault charge. It's getting warm in here, shut that fucker off. So, I'm running my fucking mini uh, power inverter to charge up my battery jumper box. That... I can charge, uh, where'd that old thing go? Am I setting on that again? I'm good for setting on that or it be up. So I can charge this little cocksucker up. I got the phone plugged into it right now, but I charge this up to charge up the phone. Need to charge this up because this is my little rock and roll machine. I set that up on the dashboard and the windshield and I got music and uh, get a phone call. All I got to do is talk to the damn thing and I don't have to, it's hands-free, uh, Bluetooth fucking speaker thing. And I like it because it's waterproof. And then I can charge this fucker up and it's a jumper battery box. It's just a little Stanley 300 amp, but 600 cranking amps, something like that, and it was fairly new and fairly cheap at the pawn shop. When I go into the pawn shop to pick up something that I pawned, the worst thing for me to have is more money than what I'm picking up for, you know, because I tend to wander around the pawn shop and look at shit and say, ooh, I want that. Damn. Yeah, I can buy that. Don't know where I'm going to come up with another tank of gas, because that's gas money, but fuck, I want that. And I'm going to take the nephew with me next time I get paid pawn shopping. Because I was telling him about some of the axes in the place, some of the guitars, the get boxes. And there was a B BC Ridge flying V, not the beetle head, but the regular head for 99 bucks, and I mean, shit, a BC Ridge flying V, just the body and neck, without electronics and strings and all, everything that makes it a happy get box is worth 100 bucks, I figure. Uh, there was a couple of, uh, there was a real nice Gibson in there. Kind of a blue and gray motif on a... It'd be a gold top sort of body. And... Uh, I think, you know, if I had the money, the boy would get that for Christmas. Late Christmas, but Christmas. I think I've only given him about three guitars so far. <coughs> Why? Because he's a guitar god and he needs to play. And he can't play if he ain't got anything to thump on.
know, I got a fucking hollow body sitting in the closet that's probably all mildewed by now because everything wood up here rots away. Except for the rest of the fucking boat transom I'm trying to take out. It'd be nice if that much of it would rot away. But, uh... He's, uh... Guitar God. He's like a natural. He knows his shit. Hell, he even had Roger Fisher from the band Heart, the original Heart Band, uh, as a guitar instructor for a while. So, the kid's good. I mean, you don't just get Roger Fisher teaching anybody. Uh... That's my nephew that you hear me bitch about from time to time about. Where the fuck is the kid with my money? Oh shit, I'm out of tea in my teacup. Might have to roll back in the house, get some more tea. It's like uh, getting down cold out here tonight. It's cold, it's crystal clear, stars are out. I've got most of the fuchsias undercover, finally, uh, the ones that didn't kill, the last frost didn't kill, and I'm expecting it to get toasty, cold, 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 it'll be toasty warm in the trailer, I'm gonna, I'm still running that some bitch about 70, but I figured I'd come out here and sit in the truck for a while, because I ain't sat in the fucking truck for too much today. There's times I live in this cocksucker, and then there's times where it's like, uh, I don't want to go out there and deal with that fucker. My little 10-second 383 stroker engine has become a tired old small block. Had to figure out why she's running shitty, and I think it's either the carbonator... Or I burned up another button in the fucking distributor cap again with that high energy ignition shit that this thing runs. Because she just ain't firing like she should. So I'm pretty, pretty positive and she's running real rich. So that tells me she ain't burning the gas. So that tells me that there is a malfunction in the electrical system somewhere. And the first place to start is I'll go to the cap. Somewhere in the glove box, I got another one of them big red distributor caps. It cost me 32 bucks around. I got the fucking button and insulator and spring shit. So I'll just throw that in it and call it good. If not, I got another one over by the toolbox. I'll just clean up with some sandpaper. And... Oh. Yeah, I got some steel wool around still. Clean that fucker up, throw it back on this fucker. As far as I know, the wires are good. I'm going to have to throw a battery in the multimeter because for some reason that son bitch went dead on me. You're making noises down there I don't like, so stop that. Don't want you to drain my fucking battery because you're the fucker that drains my battery. Figured out what it was draining my battery most of the time. This goddamn little power inverter, this black and decker pecker wrecker fucker that I'm using. It's only like, uh, hell, I don't know how many watts it puts out. It used to say here somewhere. But I think it puts out like a... I originally bought it to charge the fucking laptop. 100 watts. So it's just a little one. Just a little tiny one. I got the other power inverter, but I got to clamp that onto the battery with the little jumper cable thingies that are on it. So I got to be under the hood to 